Hey friends, I am working on this dress. Let me adjust my display here. Okay, I need to finish these slippers and then do the other blue pair. The blue pair, I think, will be easy. What is going on? I swear, the second I go live, my dog starts. They're worse than toddlers. They're worse than toddlers. And then it's cooling down right now, but it's still warm. Oh, I was going to check in with Chibi. Let me see who's here. Hey, Sable. How's it going? Claire. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I was going to go see if one of my friends is live. She has a show coming up on Saturday. And I know she's been super swamped. I'm excited to see how her show comes together. My last show did not do great, but I had fun. I enjoyed meeting people. I got some custom orders. That's what I'm working on right here. This is a custom order for slippers. I need a mat under my chair so I can roll easier. And what else I need to do is turn on this fan. plugging my phone. All right. Let's see what we got here. Somehow I have a mess on my table again. I'm, I mean, it's no mystery. I created the mess. was chatting me up so much she wanted to have like all this information about crochet then she wanted to talk about patterns then she and I don't mind that but I'm not there to then she was trying to get a free pattern she wanted to know like oh can you email me the pattern and it's like you know I'm fine talking with other creators and I do that too. I'll visit people. Oh, your work is amazing or whatever. But then I move along. This lady was like, oh, I'm totally going to buy the hat. But can you tell me about this and that? And what about this pattern? And then when I could see that she actually <clears throat> wasn't going to buy the hat, I just basically very nicely referred her to YouTube. I mean, I'm only one person. I can only do so much at the sale, you know? Giving out free patterns isn't one of them. But I felt very happy with the way I had my display. I felt very happy with my quality of work, so I don't take any of that personally. And last year, I had, did great at that event, so... I don't know. It did not actually rain until the very, very end, but I'm not sure if the thought of rain maybe scared people away, though there was a lot of foot traffic. The feedback we got was that there was over a thousand people coming through specifically for the event. The event was held at a, an, a venue called Santee Lakes, and Santee Lakes is seven lakes, and it is connected to a campground. So there are people that are at the campground. There are people coming 
for day use. So if a person says they're specifically there for the event, then, you know, that counts towards event, event attendance, but that doesn't mean that's the only people that are showing up. There could be campers coming, people that went for the day to go fishing and then saw the event was happening, decided to stop by. And I have my yarn barf on my gray yarn. So I had sent out my invoices for these orders and only one of them paid. One of them said she didn't get it, so I sent the link and then she still didn't pay, so I don't know what's up. Yes, uh, that is why I am doing these um, custom orders. They asked for things I didn't have and so then I have the custom orders. So I got a custom order for two doggy poo bag holders, two towels, and two pairs of slippers. That, and that was from three different people. So any different combination of requests. Okay, I'm gonna go turn off my kitchen light. I left it on by mistake. So, yeah, that's the saga of my event. Oh, today I'm trying out a new coffee mug. And yesterday, or earlier today, I was going to try to do Canva, but I didn't have time. Took myself for a pedicure. I was online this morning, and then I had to do my onboarding for my new job. Anyways, let me show you this. This is a new travel mug my husband got me. It is a camelback, and he even got the custom hot lid. So then you just twist it open, and then you can use it like a sipper cup so I don't spill my coffee when we're on our road trips. And it stays hot. It's really hot right now. Actually, I think I'll take a little sip with the lid off. You know how if you have a certain lid and you have it too full, it won't come out very easily? And then I have, so I put that on the table behind me because I know as soon as I'm trying to be ultra careful, that's when I'm going to spill. And then I have my water back there too. Yeah, so these slippers, and, and then when I was doing having my pedicure, I was actually working on this dress. I'm going to see who else is live. Oh, Lizzle Pizzle, Angie Sparkle. Well, there's a lot of people live right now. So what are you guys working on? Are you just observing tonight? I feel like 
having freaking hot flashes like crazy. I don't even know what that is all about. I mean, I know what it's all about, but it's like irritating. It's not warm out right now. The weather outside is cooling down. It's about 77, 76. So that's nice. Telling you, this pound of love gets so knotted up. My hands are sweating right now. Telling you, this female business is baloney. These hormones and ugh. No, this dress is actually a new pattern. So one of my um, TikTok friends, Angel Sparkles 23, um, created this pattern. So she offered it to me to get, she wanted me to provide feedback and kind of look at the extended version of the pattern and the abbreviated version of the pattern and give feedback because she has it um, for sale. So I did that for her today and it is an amazing pattern. I believe it is available, but it's super cute. You can totally adapt it. Look at that. So this pattern is a size eight to 10 for little girls, but it's totally adaptable to different sizes. She even made one for herself and she's a plus size. And you can make it as a dress or a tunic style. And she allows um, to make and sell the products. Oh my gosh, this yarn. Let me just show you what I'm dealing with here. Look at this. And so I'm trying to casually pull my yarn out and I'm dealing with this because what happens is, see how it kind of chokes itself? It wraps around itself and then you can't get it out. Oh my God. Where? I think it's Red Heart. I just threw away a label, actually. Let me see. No, it's Lion Brand. Like, I don't know who they love. If, if that's your idea of pound of love, sorry, but that is an enemy. But look, over 8,000 free patterns. 8,000. Holy moly. So I like to buy patterns. I like to use free patterns. I honestly don't see a difference in quality. I think there are um, plenty of creators here on TikTok that have great ideas. They write the patterns. They're amazing. So I have purchased patterns from people here on TikTok. And then I have this one for this dress, which I want to work on it some more. This is the Granny Stitch Poncho Dress. Look at that. And it's available from Angelina Kiros, and she is Angel Sparkle 23. So if you go check out her page, 
I also have a post with it included there. So this was a custom order of slippers and um, I finished one and so this is going to be the ankle cuff style. It's going to be for her teenage son. So now I'm working on the left slipper and I'm trying to get this yarn out of this tangle. See that? Oh my goodness. Oh my holy moly. Oh my lanta. I've heard people say that. I thought that was so funny. Oh my lanta. But then I also have the end curling around and tangling. One of my neighbors is walking her dog. She drags her feet the whole freaking way. Sorry, but that is irritating. Oh, did Michaels switch only to Lion brand? And then um, is Karen the one that has it's called a one pound or something. And so Michaels now only carries Lion Brand Pound of Love. I'm bad about paying attention to the brands and who carries what. I just see colors and I grab them. Great Thunder Bear, I like your name. Am I following you? I'm going to go look because I think I, oh no, I'm not yet. Oh, I like that hood thing you're wearing in your profile picture. That's really cool. Did you make that? Oh, okay. The one you shop at did. And I think since they're chains, they probably do this. Since it's a chain, they probably do the same thing throughout. I love that little hood thing you're wearing. My daughter asked me to make her like a um, bonnet, kind of almost like a baby hat. She's 20, of course, she needs a baby hat. Um, oh, thank you for the likes, Sable. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do like a half double crochet and then make a panel and then sew the panel together at the top. Oh, okay. Angel shawl. No, it looks really cool. It looks cool in the picture. So I think what I'll do is make a panel, sew it across the top or, or um, slip stitch it across the top. And then I think she said she wanted a button. <clears throat> Oh, triangle. Are you doing voice to text? Yeah, I get some interesting stuff when I do voice to text. Spells my kids' names wrong. I, I try to enunciate very clearly. Triangle shawl. I'm envisioning. Um, I love the colors, though. My dad actually taught me to crochet, so he was left-handed, I'm left-handed. So then not only did I have the left-handed angle, I had the male teaching me how to crochet. That was in the 70s. So <clears throat> definitely non-conventional. My dad, 
excuse me, my dad would crochet mostly with the um, crochet thread and he would make very intricate table covers, doilies, tablecloths. Oh gosh, here goes my dog. Heard someone sneeze in one of the houses. Now she has to be on guard. Because I don't have like the TV on and stuff. So she can hear every noise a lot easier. I have my tablet here with music, but she's not listening to that. Maybe she needs some headphones. Block sounds out. And I don't like to like super reprimand her because her job is to keep people from just coming up to the house, you know? I like people to know we have dogs. Especially when I'm sitting here with the front window open. We live in a good neighborhood, but you never know. Some crazy is going to come driving up, act all crazy. And like my husband likes to say, criminals can drive and don't try to act like such an elitist that, oh, that can't happen to me. So anyways, let's let my dogs bark. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a headache. What in the world? So this is a pair of slippers. I had a show this weekend and <clears throat> I took custom orders if people wanted stuff that I didn't have on hand. So I had my slipper display and my slipper display, I had a pair of red and gray slippers, but um, I did not have uh, blue and gray. So the customer asked, can I make blue and gray? And then she told me the size for her teenage son. I said yes, and then um, I had a pair on display that has a cuff, so this pair will have the um, cuff as well, like an ankle cuff. Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for coming in. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Tomorrow is going to be another busy day. I sold some stuff on Poshmark, so I have to go pull my inventory. Oh, and a lady asked me about a skirt. I have to ask, pull that and check, um, answer her question about that. I need to go to the grocery store, post office, and then I think I need to go to the po post office when it's actually open because they're having issues with their roller drop box. <clears throat> I don't know if somebody broke it or what happened. So I can't drop stuff. What I did the other day is I had small enough packages. I put it in the metered mail slot. It all goes to the same area in the back. I even thought of shoving stuff through where my P.O. box is, but I thought maybe that's a little bit too much. <laughs> Like a little over the top rude. All right, let me get a sip of my coffee. And then I'm going to compare these. So what I do is I normally will count the rows, but I'm also going to do a comparison, the finished slipper with the one I'm working on so that I can um, see, like, you know, make sure they're the same. And this pattern is very easy as well. And I keep losing it. But if you're interested in making slippers, you can always order from me. 
you can just email me and I have my link in bio or if you're interested in making slippers hey I'm doing good Mitza then you can um, get this pat uh, get this pattern or just email me and you can order right from me I'm doing good Mitza I went and got a pedicure I completed paperwork for my new employee onboarding, start my new job November 14th. So, what else did I do? Just the other usual stuff, dishes, laundry. No, I didn't do laundry today, but you know, it's always something to do. Always something. Well, I was online this morning crocheting, and then um, Angel Sparkles 23 has a new pattern. It's her first pattern. She has it listed for sale. So I started working that up. It's a dress, it's a crocheted dress. It's super cute. Um, so the pattern that I have is for a girl size 8 to 10. Um, you can totally adjust it because it starts with a chain stitch for the base and then that will determine the size of the dress. I need to ask her specifics on size adjustment. I mean I can make, I can randomly size up and then list the dresses for sale in my shop. Um, but if you're interested in a really cute, so far easy to work up pattern. Um, I'm not sure, Sable, but I'm actually fine with it because my unemployment goes until December. So I get unemployment. So here is the dress and then it is Angel Sparkle. 23. Remy, Remy, what are you doing? My dog is so weird. He's like, sees ghosts or something. He starts running around acting all weird. Um, Angel Sparkle 23, and she will have a link in her bio. Um, and then you can purchase that pattern from her. It's on the usual pattern vendor site, but she'll have that link in her bio. So there's a an abbreviated version and an extended version. The extended version is very, very detailed. I think it would be great for a beginner. It has many pictures and many references. Um, I believe you purchase the abbreviated version and then with the option, to download the extended version. Okay, so let's compare this again. See, I think I'm almost there. Yeah, it looks like I think one more row. All right, great Thunder Bear. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping in. Great chatting with you. So what I'm going to do here is take my stitch marker and this is going to be the left foot. So I'm going to flip this over measure again and then yeah I think one more row will be it and then I'm gonna put my stitch marker where I'm gonna start to make the heel area Because I would just keep going around and around. I don't need to do that.
Okay, now that I'm here, I'm going to just check again, see how this is. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is put my stitch marker on the other side and that is where the other end of the heel will be. Hold on, I need to check something. I'll be right back. I was hearing strange noises, but it's all good. So it probably won't stay on here too, too long. Although it is only seven. I'm gonna get through this slipper. So I'm hoping with this new job that it's kind of low key. It honestly seems like it's an entry level job. Um, so hopefully once I get the hang of it, it's going to be a breeze and then I can just be self monitored and not have micromanagement. I, that is one of my worst pet peeves. I'm a mature, dedicated, responsible worker. I can manage my workflow. Um, so we'll see, but starting November 14th is fine with me because I, th I think that's how long it takes them to do their paperwork and background stuff. I don't know. Hey Debbie, how's it going? I did my onboarding today for my new job, Debbie. It's going to be a QC, I don't remember what it's called, QC auditor. But I, I want to start to study IT and get into the IT field somehow. I don't have a lot of years left to work, but I don't want to work for practically minimum wage. The economy right now, honestly, pardon my language, it sucks ass. Just, ugh. No bueno. I mean, investment accounts are down. Housing prices are down, or housing values are down. Pay ranges are down. Available jobs are down. It's just ridiculous. So I just keep with my little side hustles for my mental health. Doing crochet, hanging out with you guys, listening to my little coffee shop music so I heard today now I live in Southern California uh, close enough to the border to know it's an issue proper immigration is important and I agree with having a closed border. Canada has a closed border. It's, it's important for the safety and security, not only of the citizens moving north, but also the citizens of the areas they're moving into. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of very sad and honestly disgusting information about human trafficking and when illegal immigration is encouraged it spikes the human trafficking think of a group of people that have no means they have no money but they have to pay people to bring them north they cannot just go north on their own it, it's a very controlled thing in Mexico 
So those young ladies, and sometimes men and boys, are trafficked on their way up. So I don't want to support that. I've seen documentaries, and it's very, very sad. Even the Border Patrol has information and documentaries about it. But yeah, so the border wall is being built again. We just heard about that today. I don't know, maybe maybe don't even talk about that because it can be a heated situation. So on this slipper, what I'm going to do when I get to the cuff, I'm going to drop the gray and then the cuff will be solid blue. And then when I go back to working on the dress, I'm going to transition to, or maybe I did already. Oh, I did. I'm going to use the tan for about one round and then I'm going to transition to a lighter burnt orange color. So I have the darker burnt orange color on there and then I'm going to use a lighter orange. I forget what they're called. I think one is called clay and one is um, actually burnt orange but the labels probably came off so no guarantees on validating the actual colors. Ooh, Daisy Farm Crafts hat. Nice. So to speak on Insta. Okay, let me screenshot that so I can look at that later. I have this lovely issue where I wake up in the middle of the night and uh, have stuff to look at. Uh, Debbie, your husband turned 70 in November and he doesn't think he can retire. Uh, and why are you waiting so long <clears throat> to get social security? Yeah, I think a lot of people's retirement plans have been sidelined a bit. Because investments are down, income is down, expenses are up. I mean, so th that's one thing I worry about. When you're on a fixed income, meaning you're on Social Security or pension or whatever it is, you don't have an opportunity to increase your budget. Your budget is your budget. So if the gas goes up, food goes up, something's got to give. I don't know why we don't think of that. Everybody harps about minimum wage being a livable wage. What about the people who are retired? And they, they can't, you literally cannot live on Social Security. Not if you live in California, there's no way. If it was me, <clears throat> and I had only Social Security, my estimate is like 2200 a month. That's not even rent if you rent a place. So, you know, I'm assuming people still eat when they retire. Oh my gosh, this... I think I'm about to earn a gold medal of yarn detangling. Oh, uh, Debbie, the, the one I want to check out is the So To Speak on Instagram. Yeah, I'm going to look at Daisy Craft. Yeah, so Debbie, that's two people though. Imagine if you're one person. And, and I don't want to wait to get my Social Security at the last minute. My dad died when he was like 68. 
my mother-in-law died when she was 69. I want to travel and, you know, shoot. I'll, I'll be on my deathbed filing bankruptcy. I don't care. Hi, Hessa. How are you? I'm working on these slippers and then I'm going to switch back to the dress. Did you buy the dress pattern? I'm curious. I didn't ask Angel if anybody bought it. But look how far I got on the dress. So here's what I started with you guys online. Then I added the tan. Then I did the dark burnt orange. Now I'm putting another row of tan. And then I'm going to go to a lighter orange. You know what I should do? Maybe stand on the corner and have like a mobile a mobile craft show actually actually be like a panhandler which i think is illegal where i live <laughs> but then um give them something in exchange from my already made inventory they don't get an option i'll just give them a pair of slippers give me 10 bucks i'll give you a pair of slippers We did have a lady that would go around like in the Vons parking lot and ask people if they wanted to buy jewelry that she had made. I will say that new coffee cup is keeping my coffee mighty hot. Okay, what I want to do is count, <clears throat> excuse me, how many rows I have for my heel. I think I have seven. eight maybe eight so i'll get to eight and then i'll do a comparison oh thank you debbie oh for the dress too yeah i like the colors those are just um like uh, scraps i have from other projects So one time I was at a craft event and the person had an amazing setup. What they had was like a little camper trailer <clears throat> and it was all decked out as like a mobile shop. So it does give a little more challenge because you're going to need an actual parking space as your vendor spot. Um, but it had like a little drop down where they had the side modified so the drop down um, displayed their stuff and then they could also vend through that window. Um, it was really cute. I, I need to look like on Etsy or, or Pinterest or something and see if there's something similar like that. I couldn't do that because that would be too much overhead and I wouldn't have a place to park it, but I thought that was super cute. I, I don't even remember. I think they sold clothing. So then it was like set up like a little boutique. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Angry Pickle. I like that name. Angry Pickle. It's 
So I just have a old nine by nine, like, uh, uh, what the heck do they call those things? It used to be just an easy up, but it, uh, what the heck do they call those? Like an awning tent. It's not really a tent because it doesn't have sides. Canopy. There we go. Canopy. Know why that was so hard to think of? So this pattern that I'm using, this one is a um, purchased pattern. This is from Chibi Wee Crochet. It is the basic uh, crocheted slippers. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me, with that slipper pattern, you can do modifications so that you can do a cuff or um, make socks from the same pattern. I have not made socks before. And um, when I do the double strand, uh, this slipper is very thick, so it's going to be nice, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, walking on wooden floors and stuff, but this also does not have a non-slip, so this is um, made for adults. I only make for adults. Because if you're making a slipper for a child and it is a, it does not have a non-slip, then that is a potential issue for injury. You don't want to have that. So what I need to do tomorrow is review my invoices, make sure who paid, who didn't pay, send the reminder or maybe not, and then make sure I finish my special orders and then reach out to the customers and see uh, when they want to pick up because they did say they want to do local pickup. Then I also gave them the option of picking up at my next show and the next show will be November 19th. So it's whatever works for them. Sometimes if I'm out and about, I'll go meet them as well. Just depends.
checking out TikTok? Are you just randomly finding people? Are you a follower? Are you a new follower? I love meeting new people here on this app while I'm creating and crafting. Okay, then after this row, I will compare to the other slipper that I have finished and then just verify that I am to the point where I'm going to create the heel. And then I might set this aside pick up the dress again Just, I'm just untangling my thread right here. I mean my yarn. What is this thing doing? Now my music is stalling out on me. Let's see if I find another. It's time to meditate. Oh, that's nice. should add that to my playlist. Okay, look at this. It's like the tiniest thing, but giving me the biggest challenge. There we go. All right. Yeah, I have that, Debbie, but I don't really have anything to offer to my subscribers so even if I do that I don't know what I would offer you know what I mean top secret insider info I, I don't do patterns I don't have like I don't really want to organize or try to do a giveaway or something I don't know maybe I'll look into it Maybe people have $5.99 a month that they would like to subscribe. Give them coffee tips. Tips on coffee cups and um, coffee creamer that I like. I guess it could be fun that they have special emotes they can do. Maybe I'll look into it, Debbie. Think... Okay, now look at this yarn. You see this? That's in the middle of the skein. Let me do some research because I don't want to have... That looks like a broken thread. You see that? Right in the middle of the skein. I think it'll be okay. It doesn't seem like it's weaker in that point. Okay, let me back up here because I think that was my chain stitch. So maybe I'll research that that subscribe thing see what that's all about I mean I know what it's about but what what is the minimum I don't want to have somebody subscribe and then they're going to be upset because I'm not offering something 
comparable, you know? Okay, let me count because I think I did eight already. Oh, it looks like, no, that's eight. Okay, so let me measure this. So I'll just do it back to back. Yeah, it looks like this is where I'm gonna start the heel. So let me grab my pattern. I like to always just reference my pattern because I wanna make sure that I have the, have it down. It is gonna be a little bit different because <clears throat> I did have to modify because when you're using the double strand, it automatically makes it bigger. So I just have to um, make sure how I'm doing this because the stitch count is going to be different. Okay. So. Uh, all right, I think I got it figured out. Oops. My dog is distracting me. She's over here. Oh, she just laid down. I thought she was getting in my bag of yarn. So when I wake up at two in the morning and I can't sleep, I should just come out and put my thoughts on paper. For example, the looking at the pages you guys are so kind to suggest. Okay, let me count real here. One, three, four. Okay, let me do one more. One, two. Um, look at the pages you guys suggest. Research about the subscriptions. What can I offer for subscriptions? How often I would need to offer something for the subscriptions? And then how to track that? Because you know, you just, you have to have some sort of tracking. So you're not doing too much or too little, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, and then how about how to balance it when I have my job? But something that I keep in the back of my mind, and it might sound silly, but I've heard several times from several different people, successful people, millionaires have seven income streams. So... There you go. They don't say how big or how small. But it's a start. Oh, yeah. But Debbie, come on. If I have it so only my subscribers can comment, what if you're on a fixed income and I can't have comments from you? Debbie, that would be terrible. We're going to, where am I going to learn about my new websites and, and Instagram accounts and stuff? Oops. Look, and I'm making good progress. I was going to put this down. I knew I'm almost done with it. I think I might be off on my stitch count, but that's okay. I'm going to make it work. So then, see how that heel gets formed? Never forget the chain stitch, the amazing chain stitch. So, like, this is it. That fills in that last little bit at the top. So then you end up with a nice smooth 
Okay, I'm going to do this chain one. Okay, now I'm going to put it down 7.30 here, I'm trying to watch the clock. I don't want to completely abandon my husband. Okay, so there's that. So now, let's go to the dress. I'm going to do a little on the dress. I think I'll do one row of tan and then switch to the lighter orange. So what I'm doing is I'm just gauging by how much I have of the yarn. So I'm going and then dividing the tan in between just to buy myself more length. Uh, because I'm trying to do like a scrap buster with this one. <laughs> so then once I get around, I'm just going to have one row of tan. Then I'll switch to the lighter orange. And then my next color, and then I'll do more tan. I think if I have enough yarn. And then eventually when I get down to the skirt part of the dress I'm going to use this mustard yellow I don't have a lot of that so oh no I'm gonna do this when I switch to the skirt part that's gonna be my starter on the skirt so then that will kind of open it up for other colors because if you look at this it has blue purple tan brown Red. I might use a deep, deep red on the skirt part. I think it's called cherry, but I have one cherry that is more like a red and one cherry that is more like a burgundy. There, I think one is lion and one is Karen or one is Karen and one is red heart. I can't remember. And then I'm going to read the extended version of the pattern for this dress and then provide Angel with some feedback. So this is a paid pattern. This is a crocheted dress. It is a granny, granny stitch poncho dress and the pattern is from Angel Sparkles 23. Um, you can see I made a post about it in my TikTok. And then you can go to Angel Sparkle's page, follow her, um, and then you can buy the pattern. And then um, she already said she'll be available for questions, any assistance. So you shouldn't be afraid to purchase the pattern in case you can't do it. Um, the pattern, I would say, is kind of like high beginner level. I think it's rated as, for the pattern reading, oh, she sent me another version, but I don't have it. What do I do with it? Oh, here it is. For the pattern reading, I think it's intermediate. For the stitches is beginner, because it really is just a basic double crochet, slip stitch, um, and chain stitch. So the very, very beginning is a chain stitch and then you're building on the chain stitch. So it is very basic in that sense. But the result is beautiful. The no comment unless you're the subscriber helps with trolls. That's a good idea, Debbie. 
So I have seen some people that I follow where they will do some sessions where it's a comment only with subscribers. So, I mean, I wouldn't have to do every session with that, right? I think it helps with production too, honestly, because I love interacting, but sometimes I need to just focus. And then probably around November 14th, I'm going to have a banner up that says, I got a new job. I'm not going to be on live as often. I think sometimes my dog is like a little child. She gets kind of upset or jealous. She wants me to just be sitting and touching her and petting her. But I'm doing my own thing. Crocheting or being here on TikTok. I think she gets upset. All right. I think I'm going to call it a night with my live. And thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me. Um, now, when I'm done with the dress, I'm going to have to go back through and weave these ends in. This one I made <clears throat> a mistake and had to go back, so I didn't do my connection the best. Um, so I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to create a little bit of content to do another post um, tonight and then um, probably go hang out and crochet, watch TV, um, and then get ready to go to bed. This is bugging me. I have to, there we go. And then I'll, and then this is the next color I'm gonna use. All right, thank you so much. Off to bed, have a great night, Debbie. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great evening.